Today, I have the privilege of speaking with Chris Paul from Bald Eagle Gold. How are you today? I'm doing well, Tracy. Thanks. How are you? The reason I paused everyone in Investor Intel land is that Bald Eagle Gold is really Bald Eagle Silver. Tell us, Silver, Idaho, great time to get introduced to this story. Go ahead, Chris. Tell us why Chris Thompson loves this story so much. Well, thank you for that intro introduction, Tracy. So yes, my name is Chris Paul. I'm the CEO of Bald Eagle Gold Corp. And we trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol BIG. So uh, Bald Eagle is focused on a high-grade silver asset in Western Idaho, which we just recently acquired. So this project has over 300 historical drill holes and a historical silver resource, but hasn't been explored in close to 40 years. So. This is an asset we purchased privately last summer, and we are only just now in the process of reopening what was once a very important silver exploration camp in the state of Idaho, which the Fraser Institute has ranked the number one jurisdiction in the world for mining. And even though it's early days, it seems to me that you're attracting some star power. For instance, your new chairman, Luis De Silva. De Silva. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about him, and also I believe you have a new advisory board member that you just announced in the last month. Yeah, no, exactly. So first came the project and, and then came the, the people and the firepower. So Louis De Silva has now joined the company as our new chairman. And Louis comes from a very strong uh, operational background. So Louis was formerly the uh, president and CEO of a company called Andean Precious Metals. So Andean was actually a mid-tier silver producer uh, in Bolivia. So Louis is bringing that uh, uh, actual mining and operational and development experience with him. So he was a very strong addition uh, to the company and it's gonna help us uh, as we uh, build this resource and uh, gonna help us with some of the more uh, sort of mining related uh, background that he's got. Uh, so yes, and we also uh, added a new advisor to the company. So that's Tom Henriksen. Uh, Tom has a very interesting background. So Tom has uh, won several awards uh, he, he recently won a, a, an award in 2018 uh, from AMEBC uh, for discovery excellence. Uh, so his most recent discovery success was the, uh, the Hot Maiden deposit in Turkey, uh, which is a very large gold deposit. Uh, but if you look at, at his resume and, and, and the most recent news release, he's, he's made close to a dozen discoveries uh, uh, that have become mines in his lifetime. So. Tom, uh, you know, like I mentioned, he's got a very interesting background. He actually started his career on the Hercules silver asset in 1970, uh, which is where he did his PhD thesis. So this is a bit of a full circle for him. Um, we actually got put in touch with him recently um, because he was working in Idaho. So him and his partner, um, Doug Elliott at, at Haywood actually built uh, Midas Gold, which is now Perpetua Resources. Uh, so he's an Idaho guy as well. Uh, we got put in touch with him. We started talking about the PhD work that he'd done in his early days on the Hercules. Um, he was very excited to get involved and uh, he's going to be helping us out uh, on the technical side going forward as a geologist. So a company relatively new, but we have a lot of interesting parties or well-known players attracted to this company already. What would you say the compelling reason is for this? I, I, I suspect it's the fact it's got the history and you're going to be starting to drill here shortly. Is that correct? Yeah, that, that's exactly it. So right now, Bald Eagle is trading at what I consider to be a very undervalued price because this is not an early stage exploration story. Uh, this project brings a historical resource. It's had over 28,000 meters of, of historical drilling uh, and it is primary silver. So the, the mineralization is over 70% silver by value. So this really makes Bald Eagle uh, one of the most pure play silver stories on the market, which is very rare to find, especially in a jurisdiction like the United States, which is very safe. Uh, we also have a very large target size. So the historical drilling, which, which was over 300 drill holes, uh, actually covered over three and a half kilometers of, of high grade silver. Uh, this is all within one continuous rock unit. So we think that there's very good potential for expanding on that historical resource and potentially reaching upwards of 100 to 200 million ounces of silver on this project. 
Um, we are right now, we're in the final stages of permitting for a 3000 meter phase one drill program, which is gonna be targeted at both uh, drilling within the historical resource area, uh, which is gonna allow us to basically upgrade that to 43101 compliant. And about half the program is gonna be purely exploration. So we're gonna be stepping out on that resource, looking to build on that resource, as well as drilling some pure uh, exploration, uh, new targets that we've generated from some work we did last fall. And so of course, uh, if someone wants to get in touch with you, a lot of people will be attending PDAC. Will, will you be there? And how can they reach you? Yes, absolutely. I will be at the PDAC conference this year. And uh, the best way to reach me is actually by email, which is cpaul, C-P-A-U-L, at baldeaglegold.com. And of course, for those of you looking for more information, here's the website. Thank you, Chris, so much for joining us today. It is always a pleasure. Thanks very much, Tracy. I appreciate it.